Let's talk about the reaction in the Arab Muslim world to the uh, termination of Osama bin Laden. And I think what should, uh, what should please us is what we are not seeing. And let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Have you noticed that there have been no mass demonstrations in the street, no anti-American demonstrations since Osama bin Laden's been killed? There have been no flags burning in Palestine, in Syria, in Jordan, in Northern Africa. There has been no mass negative reaction to Osama bin Laden's killing. And we might ask ourselves, well, why? There's so much support for him in the Arab Muslim world. Yes, there is support for him, little pockets of support in the Arab Muslim world. But here's why the Arabs and the Muslims are just as relieved, the majority, to see him gone. It's a little known fact that more Muslims have been killed in Al-Qaeda's attacks than Westerners, than Christians, than Jews. Some estimate that eight times as many Muslims have died in Al-Qaeda's attacks than Jews and Christians and Westerners. So Arab and Muslim families have lost many, many more lives than we in the West have. Osama bin Laden was interviewed uh, shortly after the U.S. embassies in the early 90s were bombed by Al-Qaeda in Africa, and the interviewer said to Osama bin Laden, you know, many Muslims also worked in those embassies and were killed. How do you justify that? And Osama bin Laden said, if there is a Muslim who works for the infidel, then basically that Muslim is also an infidel and deserves to be killed, is expendable. That kind of ideology by Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda is losing ground throughout the Arab and the Muslim world. His popularity, as a matter of fact, has dropped significantly in opinion polls in the last five years just because people are tired of seeing their own die in these senseless attacks. So when we look at the week after Osama bin Laden was killed, let's look at what's not happening and be real happy about it. No protests, no burning American flags, no rage throughout the Arab Muslim world. It's a good thing to see for America and for freedom-loving people everywhere.